Jordan Stevens and Robbie Gotts join the Bluebirds on a two-year deal. I can't wait to leave this town Cause they the I've been feeling down so what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me Baron Tor. Yes, I'm back with another video on the channel. In today's video then is some transfer news on deadline day then. Barrow make two signings in Jordan Stevens and Robbie Gotts, two Leeds United youngsters. Both both players have were released from uh Leeds United. Jordan Stevens was on loan at Bradford City last season. Robbie Gotts was on loan at Salford City. So both team, both players have played in this level before. Jordan Stevens has played with uh, Mark Cooper before when he was at Forest Green Rovers. So to be honest, I'm interested to see what these two players can bring to uh, bring to the squad, but. Before we do get any further in speaking about what the club said and what Mark Cooper said about both signings, if you haven't already, please don't forget to smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications, and be notified every single time I post a new video. And the first player that we are going to speak about is Jordan Stevens that joins the Bluebirds. So then, this is what the club had to say about Jordan Stevens joining the Bluebirds. So Mark Cooper has clinched a deal to bring in versatile midfield Jordan Stevens to the club after the highly rated 21-year-old 20, left Leeds United to pen a two-year deal with the Bluebirds. Barrow's boss helped uh, Nutra Stevens as a talent star emerged from Forest Green Rovers Academy to make his senior debut at the age of 17 in, two, in September 2017. However, it was a long before his form was attracted the attention of bigger clubs and just five months later Leeds United pinned an undisclosed speed to take the teenager to Ellen Road. Stevens impressed the Leeds boss Marco Bielsa to, to such an extent he was given the shirt number for the 20, 2018 slash 2019 and went and he went on to make his debut in the in championship visit to Stoke City in January 2019. While Whilst on the fringe of the first team, Stevens co continued to play a role for Leeds United under 23 side who won the PDL Northern League and were crowned Professional Development League champions. The youngster was given a further exposure to senior football during a loan spell at Swindon Town in the early part of the 2020-21 while he ended his campaign on a loan at Bradford City. Comfortable Comfortable in the midfield as a wide player or in the number 10 role, Stephen has been on Cooper's transfer radar throughout the summer and the Bluebirds chief, chief has finally landed his man. To be honest, a lot of Leeds fans have said that Jordan Stevens is a good player and I think myself as well, he could be a decent young talent coming into the squad. I think, yes, it, it was the right, right choice made, but... I think we still needed a defender. We're still lacking at the defence a bit. But another winger to help out, maybe to challenge with Joss K, Joss Gordon and stuff like that to get into the squad now. That's going to be a good test for Joss K. I think because Joss K, he came off against Bristol Rovers with us being down at 10 men. I don't know if it was he picked up an injury or he just wasn't impressing Mark Cooper in that game. But... The next player that I am going to speak about that we have clinched a two-year deal with is Robbie Gott from Leeds United. So then the next player that we are going to speak about is Robbie Gott signing a two-year deal with the Bluebirds with regarding his release from Leeds United. So the box-to-box -box midfield star Robbie Gott is the latest arrival at the Duns Hotel Stadium after he puts pen to paper on a two-year deal with the Bluebirds following his de depart from Leeds United. The highly regarded 21-year-old was Leeds United Academy of the Academy Player of the Year in 2019-20 season after making his first mark first team debut in a FA Cup tie 
against Arsenal in January 2020. After coming through the ranks as a right-back, Leeds boss Marco Bielsa successfully converted him into a dynamic and athlete midfielder who can cover the ground to help both defence and attack. Gotts was one of the key components of United's successful under-23 side who won the PDL Northern League title in 2018 and went on to be crowned Professional Development League champions. The youngster found his senior opportunities at Ellen Road Limited following their promotion to the Premier League but gained value experience by, def- by, spending, by spending the first half of last season on loan in League One with Lincoln City. Scotts has started for then start stayed for Salford City during the second half of the 20, 2020-21 campaign during which he made 23 League 2 appearances for the Amis and he scored three goals including one against his hometown club Harrogate Town. Bluebird's boss has long been admirer of the young midfielder but has to Remain patient in order to wrap up the steel, wrap up a deal to bring him to the Duns Hotel Stadium. To be honest, when Barrow played against Salford City last season, Robbie Gotts was there and he was a good handful for Salford City. I think he did get on the score sheet. He was creating a bit of space for himself to get to score. He was he was in that midfield. He was in that ten finding passes into Luke Armstrong and their uh, other players like that, but. I think these are two great signings for the Bluebirds. It'd be interesting to see if they play Saturday against Oldham, which I am going to that game. So if they are playing, I'll be able to see what they inca- what they can provide for the Bluebirds. But apparently, uh, Mark Cooper is waiting for a free agent maybe to pick up as well. But I don't know what free agents are out there to pick up at the minute. He was saying we maybe need a defender free agent. But... To be honest, I'm very, very happy with these two signings. But I'm going to look more further into their career to see how many games they've played in their career, how many goals they've scored in their career so far and what teams they have been into at their career. So we'll start with Jordan Stevens. So then this is Jordan Stevens' player career. So... His youth career started in 2017 at Forest Green Rovers. And then his senior career, he signed a professional contract at, um, there in 2017 to 2018. He played nine games, scored no goals. 2018 to 2021, then he signed a professional contract with Leeds United. And then going into the Leeds United under 23, he played five games and scored no goals. Throughout that, then he went on loan to Swindon Town in 2020-2021, playing 13 games and scoring one goal. And then two, throughout that 2021, he went to Bradford City and played 16 games, scored no goals. And now he has signed for the Bluebirds and yet to make an appearance. To be honest, from them stats, like you can't really make out from the player. With him playing in the under twenty threes, it does it only shows how many like first game games he's played and stuff like that. So he's not really played much first team football. I would have thought at like well, definitely at least he's only played five and he only played nine of Forest Green. So hopefully he'll get a lot of game time here at the Bloody Bird. But the next player that I am going to uh, look at their player career then is Robbie Gotts. So then now, Robbie Gotts, then his youth career started at Leeds United, and then in 2018 to 2021, he signed a professional contract and played one first game game. And then in 2020 to 2021, he made the loan spell move to Lincoln City in League One, playing seven games, scoring no goals. In 2021, then he went to Salford City and had a very, very long spell at Salford City, playing 23 games and scoring three goals. And now he has signed a professional two-year deal with the Bluebirds. Still yet to make a debut game. Will that happen on Saturday against Oldham Athletic away? So, to be honest, he is a good player at the League 2 spell, League two level, playing 20, 
playing 23 games at Salford, so he's got the experience. He's got the experience with Link, well, from Lincoln and Salford City. So, you know, hopefully, he can provide the Bluebirds some great bit of young talent to be fair. But to be honest, nothing really else that I can say apart from Robbie Gotts and Jordan Stevens have put pen to paper at the Duns Hotel Stadium for two years under Mark Cooper. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Please don't forget to smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and post notifications to be notified every single time I post a new video. Up the Bluebirds, and I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and peace.